this color, this reality I can see there is that our military is overwhelmed. Our military is no longer in a position to single-handed tackle this menace effectively. And it's not a criticism of our military if one were to suggest a coalition building of resistance that would even include our neighboring countries who are better placed and probably more experienced in fighting asymmetrical wars. It would not be a loss of our pride of place as a country if that were to happen. And this is certainly something that we as your colleagues and your brothers will put before our leader, Mr. President. We can bring back the people we've lost in the last couple of days, just as we can the very many people we've lost in this over a decade menace that has been tormenting our people. But if we do not take the necessary steps, the entire nation will be consumed by this insurgency. And if not for anything else, even for our own self-preservation, we need to stand solidly with you, work with you, assist in whichever way you want us to, in ensuring that our government takes the right position in order to tackle this problem. And I want to assure you that we shall not relent as your brothers in conveying this to the appropriate authorities so that at the end of the day Nigerians, the good people of Borno, who are already expressive of their support for what you are doing, they see your selfless commitment, your passionate determination to ensure that they live in peace, they're able to go to their farms, they're able to earn a living, and they're able to live with people from all over, 